Today is an exciting day for anyone who's interested in the next evolution of gameplay for space engineers. Marek Rosa, CEO of SEE developer Keen Software House, has given us a sneak peek on Twitter and Facebook showing a little bit of Grid AI. We see a small drone with six new blocks attached to it, looking nothing like anything we have now, with symbols on each. A rocket for the flight controller, Flight. A ringed planet with a flag for the objective controller, Basic and four that aren't listed in the control panel. But I'd love to see your guesses in the comments. There are a group of cogs, an arrow with a broken stem, a crosshair, and a shield. Talking of the control panel, there is a remote control block, which probably means that it's a requirement for at least some of these to work. Whilst we don't get a look at what the movement controller offers, we do see that there are three objectives selectable for the objective controller. Follow home, follow player, and autopilot. The follow home objective is described in the tooltip as allowing you to select a home beacon, antenna or GPS that the grid should follow and can be set up to wander while within range of it. This could quite easily allow us to do things like automated defences that follow a ship that is mobile for example. Follow player however will follow a specific player. They have to have gone into the controller and selected follow me, presumably so you can't just send a drone out to a specific player to kill them but it would be nice to be able to set it up to follow someone in your faction. Finally, Autopilot seems to be a replacement for a function of the remote control that allows us to set the ships on Autopilot, allowing us to have drones that followed a set path in a number of ways, letting us make automated drones where we needed to. Moving on to the movement controller flight, there's a good probability that it is responsible for managing how grids move. This opens the possibility that we'll see a wheel-based movement controller for automated ground vehicles. A couple of features I'd hope for with the flight controller is the ability to set a hover height above the terrain, allowing for infantry support drones, for example, and the ability to smartly land on connectors like Spug's auto docking script. One thing I've heard from the community is the ability to link these up with other blocks, such as timers and other things that you can place on hotbars much like you can do with timers and air vents now to automate processes. For example, there could be a block that monitors the cargo level of the ship. Then, when it gets too full, it goes to its home connector and waits for it to be empty, at which point it will take off again. Maybe it could detect the presence of players within the grid using sensors, and then the vehicle can take you to a destination. I'd love to hear your hopes for this feature, so join me on my Twitch stream or leave a comment down below with your hopes for the next big update, and I'll catch you in the black.